Zachary Horowitz was always a dreamer, and letting those dreams fade away was not an option. He was going to dream, and dream big, like $227 million big. That's how much money he swindled from Hollywood investors. But how did he pull it off? And what could this no-name actor possibly have to offer these Hollywood bigwigs? Initially, Horowitz wanted to be a professional football player, and he was pretty close to accomplishing that goal. He played college ball for the Indiana Hoosiers and was on the track to go pro. Unfortunately, his dreams of making it to the NFL were squashed by injuries, and he had to change course. He began working towards his doctorate at the Chicago School of Professional Psychology. However, it wasn't the science of the mind that fascinated Horowitz the most. It was the science of acting. The performing arts had always been a special interest to him. He had participated in the theater program during his high school years, but his athletic endeavors kept him from pursuing acting in a serious way. Now that his football days were officially behind him, he could focus on the thing that had always been most important to him, acting. Horowitz took the ultimate leap of faith when he packed up his car, filled it with gas, and headed west. Hollywood was in his sights, and while show business is infamously ruthless and competitive, he had a dream to make it big. He was going to make it come true one way or another. With his life plans changing drastically overnight, it seemed natural that a name change was in the cards as well. He started going by Zach Avery, a slick, easy-to-remember moniker that was well-suited for a young up-and-comer in Hollywood. He was officially all in on making it as an actor. The transition from sports to acting had been done before, which Horowitz, now Avery, found encouraging. He wanted to follow in the footsteps of guys like Dwayne The Rock Johnson and Terry Crews, well-known Hollywood superstars who began their careers as professional athletes. Avery got a handful of roles in smaller projects during his first few years. They were mostly short films and low-budget features. In 2014, though, he landed a small, uncredited part in what was by far the biggest movie of his career, the Brad Pitt-led World War II drama Fury. With such a notable title under his belt, Avery hoped to finally jumpstart his acting career and start earning some bigger roles in more prominent productions. His big break never really came, though. He continued to act in small roles here and there, and he was able to work alongside some big names like Kate Beckinsale, Ray Fiennes, and even former Terminator star Linda Hamilton. But he never became a star himself. Most critics were not fans of Avery's work, and you know what they say about one bad review. The exhausting grind of the Hollywood hustle began to take a toll on Avery, and it wasn't yielding the results he had hoped. Avery decided it was time to shift gears a bit. The athlete-turned-actor now had a wife and child at home to think about. He stayed in the realm of mainstream filmmaking, but left his spot in front of the camera. He'd eventually move away from film sets entirely. He started a film production and distribution company called one in a million capital. His plan was to acquire the rights to movies through his newly formed company and sell them to large entertainment corporations like Netflix and HBO. These companies are always looking to expand the library of content available to their users, apparent by the overwhelming number of movies and TV shows available on their platforms. One in a million capital served as a middleman between filmmakers and entertainment companies. Avery's new distribution enterprise became a rousing success, or so it seemed. He was able to entice several big money investors into pumping millions upon millions of dollars into one in a million capital. He did this by assuring them that he was regularly making deals with some of the biggest names in the entertainment industry. He gave investors the impression that his previous ties to the film industry and the relationships he'd established as an actor would aid him in his business deals. Investors were intrigued, and Avery had the receipts to prove it. He provided documents detailing financial interactions between Avery's company and streaming behemoths like Netflix and HBO, as well as email correspondence between Avery and many top executives at these mega corporations. Everything checked out, and Avery cashed in. 
What was the total haul for one in a million capital? Something in the realm of $227 million gifted to Avery and the company in the form of loans and investments over five years. Not bad for someone struggling to make a name for himself in Hollywood. While his Hollywood dreams took an unexpected turn, Zach Avery was finally making it in the world of filmmaking. He was providing a good life for himself and his family in the process. He traded a cramped L.A. apartment for a gorgeous $6 million mansion in Beverlywood, a wealthy neighborhood in West Los Angeles. His dream home fitted with everything a young guy in his 20s could ask for, including a luxurious pool, a home gym, an indoor theater, and a basement that housed an impressive 1,000 bottle wine collection. While he was by no means a Hollywood A-lister, he was certainly living like one. With the money he was making through one in a million capital, Avery purchased the Beverlywood home and scored some high-end vehicles for his collection. He regularly flew in private jets to get around. To the outside world, Avery looked like every other Hollywood hotshot. He didn't give up on the whole acting gig either. While one in a million was his main source of income, his acting dream remained intact. In 2018, he finally got his shot at a lead role in the low-budget thriller Last Moment of Clarity. He spearheaded a cast that included a handful of established actors, including Samara Weaving, Carly Chaikin, and Brian Cox. This was his best chance to break through into Hollywood's upper echelon of performers and finally realize his lifelong dreams. But like the title of the movie implies, the project ultimately provided a last moment of clarity for Avery's career. It was not meant to be. The film was eventually released in 2020 with little to no fanfare, and after a slew of negative responses, it swiftly faded into obscurity, much like Avery's acting prospect. Though he had once made the trek to Los Angeles as a naive kid with nothing to lose, he was now an adult with a family to take care of and a seemingly endless string of rejections and failures behind him. Like his dream to play in the NFL, the California dream was quickly fading. Avery didn't have much time to mourn the loss of his acting career. He was abruptly arrested in April of 2021 on wire fraud charges, securities fraud, and aggravated identity theft. These charges were concerning his shady dealings while at the helm of one in a million capital. His investors were shocked. Avery defrauded them of their hefty investments using old loans to pay back new ones in classic Ponzi scheme fashion. He was also skimming his fair share of cash from the investment pool to fund his personal life. The whole operation was a sham and Avery went to great lengths to make it seem as legit as possible. He falsified the financial documents that he went on to show potential investors as proof of his business dealings with Netflix and HBO. In reality, One in a Million Capital had no relationship with either of those companies. But what about the emails back and forth between him and their executives? As you probably guessed, those were fake too. For a while, Avery was able to keep up the charade by keeping investors paid and happy. As is the case with most scam stories, the money eventually started to dry up in 2019. As that happened, Avery had no other option but to stop paying his investors. Avery blamed the lack of payments on Netflix and HBO, insisting that these companies owed him money for film rights sales and they were refusing to pay up. His last ditch effort to cover up the scam came a month before his arrest. Avery began seeking investor funds that he said would be used to pursue legal action against HBO for failing to pay one in a million capital what had been agreed upon. This was yet another in a long stream of lies that Avery told investors, and he was only able to buy so much time before investigators uncovered his illegal exploits. The Securities and Exchange Commission froze his assets, and he sat in jail for two weeks before being bailed out on a $1 million bond. He now awaits criminal sentencing in federal court. Horowitz dedicated himself so strongly to the art of acting that his entire life became something of a movie role. Zach Avery was the character he played on a daily basis and the investors he routinely lied to were his audience. For a while, 
He convinced them that Zach Avery was real and worthy of their trust. But like with any movie, the suspension of disbelief only went so far. His performance wasn't good enough, and the audience stopped believing him. In his acting pursuits, his bad performances prevented him from being the Hollywood star he dreamed of becoming when he packed up his car and made the journey from Chicago to LA. But in his actual day-to-day -day life, his poor acting cost him much more than a shot at stardom. It cost him millions of dollars. It cost him the respect of his family. It cost him his reputation, and it just might cost him years of his life years he'll be spending behind bars. Click to watch one of these next videos.